Hello and welcome back to the Lime Tree Sessions podcast with me, Jack Milk. Scott Scott And today we're joined by Vice Killer. Woo! Woo! Um, Gene Simmons, yeah. stick his tongue out. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, I. There's the fucking bear shit in the woods. Yeah. Of course That's the did. only yeah. reason I want to go out. Say how long it's to see his tongue. Yeah, uh, just to say how long it is in person. It is quite long, like. Looks huge on the telly. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well. <laughs> well, it's huge on the telly. It looks, <laughs> can we cut that bit out of context? It looks huge on the telly. Tom, James, how are you doing? Very, very good. Fantastic, thank you. Awesome stuff. We're going to be talking all about your band, your music, and all that kind of stuff a little bit later on. At the start of the podcast, we'll just talk about what we've been doing this week. Uh, I've just been working. Haven't had a whole lot on this week, to be honest, but mm-hmm. it's been it's been nice. It's been nice. You can take lots of photographs. Lots of photos. Uh, I take pictures at uh, a guitar shop for, yeah. for the website for when... Which shop is it? Uh, guitar, guitar. Guitar, guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Spend a lot of money there, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, imagine working there. It's just an absolute nightmare. I uh, people think it's great, but you just like cry over the guitars that you can't afford. Uh, you know, so like half your wages. <laughs> you should look at them yeah. though every day. Oh, I there's one in particular at the minute that I was just talking about there that uh, when it goes, I will cry. It's gonna break <laughs> it's, your heart. Yeah, yeah. What it's, is it? It's a. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to share like. It's on if it's on the it'll be on the website. Yeah. So well, well you took the photos, you know if it's on the website <laughs> it, or not. Yeah, it's not on the website yet, but I have taken a picture of it. Uh it's a uh custom shop master built fender strap. Oh. Um hot rod red with a humbucker and it's master built by Vincent somebody. Uh and it's uh it's nine grand. And it's like it's amazing. So but, is it worth is it worth risking? The loss of a job. <laughs> <laughs> or just walk out the door with it. <laughs> do you not have well, keys? You can yeah, wear yeah. a long <laughs> dress. Yeah. Well, do you know what? Funnily enough, <laughs> funnily enough, we'll not go there. <laughs> funnily, funnily enough, uh, I was talking to someone today about uh, when they worked in a different music shop a long time ago. They had this like display of like high tech recording equipment mm-hmm. like on this shelf. And it was like, obviously, it was this was like, the late 80s, early 90s or whatever, so it wasn't exactly what it is now. So it was like this proper heavy unit on this, on the top of this, um, uh, th- uh, what do you want? Uh, display. Mm-hmm. Display case. And um, the, guy, the guy was like, what would you do if I, if I nicked this? And uh, the shop assistant was like, mate, if you can t- lift that heavy thing off there, <laughs> you can have get, it. Get down the stairs and out the door without anybody seeing, mate, it's yours, you deserve it. So... <laughs> Custom shop here we come. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I've just been working really. Uh, nice. You lads have been away. We have. Uh, yeah. The just. length and breadth of the country. Go on then. Yep. So in fr- on Friday we were in Sheffield. We were. Um, and then we drove to Leicester. Leicester to stay in a hotel there. Then we drove three and a half hours from there to Dorset Aye. to play the holiday park. And then we drove six and a half hours but, well, we drove nearly six and a half hours back home. About five and a half hours. About five and a half hours back home before the van broke down again. Yep. Who's driving? Me. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> All the way. Yeah, the stoplight came on, so we had to stop. Yeah. All the coolant was um, on the A1. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the first time our van's broken down. It's got we, character, though, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yes. It's character building. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that thing, you know, the... the um, paradox with the ship like if you keep replacing bits of a ship is it the same yeah, ship yeah. our van's not the same van we bought it definitely isn't it's had so many different bits attached to it upgrades. now upgrades oh, it Up- upgrades right yes. Term, yes definitely an upgrade but it's no the AA came out and <laughs> saved us I'll say it Chris from the AA saved us thanks Chris cheers Chris he was, he was good man he got us back on the road <laughs> so I got home at half four I was very tired yeah I don't envy you like you've had a, an ongoing battle with that van, it's be every week we mention something wrong with the van. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's been good for the last two, three weeks it now, has. though. Yeah. So it was due something to go wrong with it. It keeps the people engaged. Doesn't Absolutely, it? You know, it keeps it, on edge. It, it, it's character build when you Carri- sat in a van for three hours waiting for someone to cut watching TV. We yeah, carry a TV around with us, yes. like a portable one. one. That's very so cool. good job you had it. We <laughs> stuck the aerial on the top of the roof of the van. Was what were we were watching? We were watching. It was some Britain's archaeological. It was black and white, whatever it was. Oh no, it it was some with. Oh, what's he called out of Carry On? The the Australian one out of Carry On. 
Maybe. He was I, I wasn't really watching that. I was, I was too watch. stressed to watch Stelly. It doesn't matter. Who you're watching. We so went you, in. You were nice and chilled. Uh, whilst yeah. You were, we you went were in, got a Costa, got a Greg's, and waited. Essentials. Yeah. Essentials. And then, yeah. At least you're out of service. I, I was going to say. Very dreadful. It, was it could have happened, couldn't, couldn't have happened in a better place, really. And, well, I was like, what were we, like, eight minutes, I think it was, yeah, from so one of the services. It. So right. I thought, right, yeah. I know there's a services up here. We'll stop there. But I wasn't happy. Yeah. What have you guys been up to? Well, I think the last time, obviously, we've seen Scott. We were just finishing off some new material that'll come out maybe next year possibly next year so it was like maybe t- 10 or 12 songs you've been doing at um, Blank Studios at Newcastle where we spent a lot of time and Scott came and took some photos oh. of our last last few days good fun of Except a long journey here. yeah right, so fun. that was the last thing we were really doing wasn't it yep it was cool. fun I enjoyed it I know Let's see. you've captured it I did I captured you've... it I and still images oh well I I mean, you like just well. heard the drums going and like I did, I Louis, our, plugs in. Louis, our drummer, was trying to get his inner Ringo out. <laughs> Scott was <laughs> probably judging. That's how we've been. That's how we've been. Oh, amazing. Well, that's what we've been up to this week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's time for... What are you listening to? What are you listening to? I'm going to go first because I've literally just picked Okay. One. Uh be Just before because I saw it on Instagram. So, country artists that I really like yeah. called Morgan Wade. You do like Morgan Wade? I do. I went to go see her last year. She was awesome. She's just released a new single off her new album, uh, and it's called 80s Movie. And it's cool, because the video is her dressed as Marty McFly <laughs> all right. in, like, a school, uh-huh. but it's all 80s themed and stuff. It's uh, about as Asia it gets that, doesn't it? Pretty much, yeah. So, 80s Movie, Morgan Wade. There you go. Excellent. Do you want to go next? Uh, yeah, I'll go next. So, mine's been stuck in my head for the last week. It's... um. That don't impress me much by Shania Twain. I wonder why. Because I've been singing it for the last week. <laughs> wow. Is that because of Harold? That's because of Harold, yes. Yeah. Hi, Harold. See previous podcast. Hi, Harold. <laughs> it's bit, I, he was going to see Shania Twain when he's over yeah. here, and I've just had Shania Twain stuck, stuck in my head. head. <laughs> I only know three songs, so I've the same three songs on repeat. Yeah. I need to listen to more Shania Twain now. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's Boots of Your Bed been? No, who's, who's Better of Your Boots Been Under? That's a great song. All right, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. You a big Shania fan? I love Shania Twain, she's awesome. Well, there's some tickets left, they're 500 quid, you're more yeah, than welcome to go. What a steal. steal. That's a steal. They're VIP <laughs> tickets, aren't they? I think every... go to Leeds as well. And you've got to go to Leeds. Oh, no. I don't like it that much. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Scott? Um, I've been listening to a song called I Fell In Love With A Talking Head by a lad called Seblo. I don't know if you've heard of him. He got quite famous on TikTok recently. He was doing those sort of rappy, songy like songs about the government and stuff like that. Is know. he from Sheffield or something I think like he that. is, yeah. Do we, get, we got asked to support him, didn't we? Yeah, he plays guitar. We got asked to support him, didn't we? I think we might have, yeah. Uh, anyway, he's got a new tune out and a lot of his previous stuff it has been the sort of acoustic yeah. melody and then with the rap and stuff on it. But this new song he's brought out, it's got like synths and stuff on it. It's like more of a pop tune. It's just really cool. Interesting. Fell, fell in love with a talking head, it's called. It's a great name. It's a good right. name, like. Probably great, yeah. 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 Amazing. Which one of you wants to go next? Um, I've been listening to Green Chattons debut album from Fontaine's DC. Oh, right. Um, and there's a tune on it called Bob's Casino. And it's just a bit out of the ordinary for what you'd expect from them. Right, okay. Especially with Fontaine's, like, it's just a com- complete opposite, really, isn't it? But it's got bits of violin in there. It's a little bit folky, but... Yeah. It's more mellow. Than oh, I might like that one. But it's, got a f- got... it's got, like, female vocal all over the... Yeah, uh, album as well, so it goes hand in hand with his voice, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Awesome. I've been listening to uh, Queen of the Stone Age, new album, and specifically Paper Machete Office. Yes. I haven't listened to it yet. Oh, I, quite for, I, I keep organising it. It's got a wicked solo, though, hasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've been, yeah. I've heard. I've heard. Uh, so I've heard. Video, the video's been done by Beaver Town as well. Oh, really? Which is, uh, it looks mint like, but that yeah. solo is. Oh, I it's really. Filth, have you seen that they're playing Stockton? Yeah. Uh, I have. I know. Where? 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 The Globe, like yeah. the, really? fuck, the fucking theatre, yeah. That's where uh, Fontaine's played their last headline show, in it? That's yeah, one of yeah. the best venues I've been to, I think, in the yeah. North East. We're going to Glasgow sure. to see them, like, I can't wait. Aye. Because they did that last time where, like, all of their tour dates were, like, arena shows, mm. but then they did one theatre, because we went to go see them at that theatre show, which last time was... um it have been 28 <sighs> Yeah, it would have been, yeah. It yeah. was it was in Edinburgh and it was called either it was I think it was called Usher Hall or Escher Hall. Yeah, it's Escher Hall. Escher Hall. Uh, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. So, so they played there and it yeah. was amazing. Unreal. It was really, really good. But we're already going to a gig that night that, of the Stockton one, <sighs> otherwise I would have went. But I think it's sold out like that. Yeah. So. Did, yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I, I think that's why we're going to Glasgow. I'm, I'm not going oh, to the best seats for it. Like, I'm going to Glasgow. I've not yeah. got the best seats. I couldn't get standing on, I think. Oh, yeah. Where in Glasgow are the plane? Hydro. Oh, oh, the hydro. hydro. I like the Hydro. Oh, really oh, hydro. Hydro's good. Just go yeah. and seat at, like, at the side of the stuff. I like. want stand in there, like. <laughs> hydro's cool, though, because it's, it's kind of like... round. A, yeah, it's kind of like an oval. Uh, I don't think I've ever been sat in the Hydro. Like. Right. Oh, no, but I'm excited to go regardless. I'd just sit there and listen, even if I couldn't see them, yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What Amazing. Amazing. Last time we were there, we saw someone absolutely shocking. Well, when were there, didn't we? Well, so you think. Uh, yeah, it was Paul on the team. Paul on the team. He was fucking wicked. Oh, was, right. they, they're, they're not a they, fan. They're different, and I'm indifferent. So. Yeah. I think I've only been once, and I saw Khalid. All right. Yeah, All right. My girlfriend, surprisingly. Decent. Uh, Has Paul on my new team not got a new record out? Yeah, he yeah. did, yeah. The What's time. that like? Because I still haven't given that a listen enough for uh, you. I wouldn't bother me. It's like no. as a house. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mixture. It's some it's of quite his... soulful, isn't it? Yeah. Like, do you, do you like, also, like, do you like his stuff? actual good stuff? Well, like the old, the old yeah. albums, yeah. I, do, I am a fan. You won't like his new stuff. Well, really? Do you like, like dancing music, like sort of? Like, nah, not uns, really. Uns music. Uns music. It's not... Like that. Do you like the fucking new monkey leg? <laughs> <laughs> Surely it can't be unts music. No, no, it's Is it just a bit more like upbeat? That. I'm trying to imagine what it's like in my head it's now. A little, it's, 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 it's a little, little bit unts, and that's it. enough unts for anyone, really. No, but live, when he has all the graphics up. Yeah. The graphics like are... Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. You've got a few Elton yeah, Johns yeah. in you and that, yeah. It's wicked, aye. Whoever did the graphics needs an award or something, because it was tremendous. Really? To get a taste of it, he did a live performance of... I can't which song it was, on... Amazon's platform, like yeah. the video and stuff. I think it's in, it might be in Abbey Road or Air Studios or something like that. Uh, yeah. it, it's got all that colours and stuff on the video and it's really nice. It's sort of a taste of what it was like. I think I've seen his performance on Jules Holland and it wasn't bad. Like, yeah, I quite yeah. enjoyed that. He's got a good voice. You can't yeah. knock him for that. Oh, yeah, he's the best. Ah, he's yeah, got an unreal voice. Put it this way, though, right? He oh, did, yeah, we can. He did, he had Pencil Full of Lead, arguably one of his best songs. Yeah. And it's such a joyful number with the trumpets and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> And I'm not kidding you, he fucking played it like it was like, I got my pencil, a full of lead. And I was like, what the hell's going on? It's like, it's, it didn't like play. Hip, like trip up. Yeah. Trip up. Yeah, seriously. Really? Really? A little bit of uns uns. Oh, a little, a little bit, bit of uns uns in there. there was, <laughs> made, made it. There was Is that what this podcast going to be called? <laughs> yeah. A little bit uns, of uns. uns. How the hell do you spell that out? <laughs> <laughs> Urban Dictionary. <laughs> there's, right. there's the title. A little um, bit of uns uns. He, he only played like maybe two or three songs like the record. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everything else was like dancey, trancey. Pop Dan, I'm coming away from this just like with a different view on Paul. Yeah, need I need album. to say it yeah. like, uh, no, it's a mint album. I just it's, can't imagine it. <laughs> it's a shame because I'm, yeah, I'm not getting mega into him anyway, to be honest. Mm, man. Yeah. Listen to it and judge for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll still give it a listen if it's got some uns uns in there. It's got some uns uns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm down to give it a go. Like. <laughs> uns uns music. I think a little bit different. Yeah, how are we going to spell that? U N uns uns. U N C E, isn't it? Uns Double S. Get a double S on uns uns. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, well, but anyway, that's what I've been listening to this week. <laughs> if you want to check out those tunes, they'll be linked down below in a Spotify playlist, or you can type in Lime Tree Sessions, W A Y L T, and find it there for yourself. Okay, it's time for. Go plug yourself. Plug yourself. All right, we're joined by Vice Killer, Tom, and James. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourselves, the band, and what you've been up to? Yeah, so to start with, it was a, it was a COVID baby, wasn't it? Oh, a proper COVID baby. Like me and James used to go to school together, um, shot in all school back in the day. And uh we actually hadn't <laughs> seen it we hadn't even seen each other for years. Like I only barely knew how to play guitar. Still still learning. And um on your little classical guitar. On your little classical Spanish guitar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. Um and then during COVID you wanted to get rid of the epiphone, didn't you? I did. Acoustic. Yep. So I jumped in and thought I'd I'd do him a favour. Um, started writing some tunes on it, and then before we knew it, we we were there in the practice room. In the practice room, <laughs> trying Amazing. trying to play music, but <laughs> we got there. We got there in the end. <laughs> Fair, Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I do have a question, just because this is the first time I've met you guys. Yeah, yeah. Where does the name come from? Um, so I, I got wrong f- last time we done an interview because I I went off on a bit of a. Rant. A rant about it. Not like a rant. <laughs> All right. Um, We've got loads of time. I mean, no, you know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so Are you saying that because you're not editing this one? Yes. <laughs> could be why. Yes. So I was okay. listening to a band called McCarthy at the time. They were like an 80s band. Similar sound to the Smiths. Um, very political. Probably not as political as Morrissey. I don't think he was screaming like, mate, his murder of people or anything like that. But, right. Um, and there was a song called An MP Speaks. 
and it's just from the political point of view of a, an MP and I just it said Vice everywhere in the tune and then I chucked a load of names at these Vice City was chucked about quite a few times like but I thought that was it's a that good w- name as well oh, that wasn't brilliant wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> I still say we should come out with the Vice City music like oh, yeah. and that, that's basically what the name came from I just chucked a load of names down on a bit of paper for them and there was, uh, there was some like uh, very out there names and that mm. so. A few, it's on those, like, like, uh, on, you, you, the you can't let that one slip. I don't, I don't think I've got the notes. There was think... a notes page somewhere, it had some mega names. On uh, it, we just kept on just changing the group chat yeah. to the names and just ah, seeing yeah, see 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 what looked normal. A little bit of a soak test. You know. uh, yeah. But I don't think you can ever be happy with a name, like, surely not. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. You're happy. Yeah. I, I'm a bit like. <laughs> oh, still? Yeah. Changes. It's too late now. You can't now. Right? You can't now. There's no going back now. But. Yeah, it just came from influence from another tune, really. Right, cool. Um, oh, that's cool, man. So, who are the influencers? Who are the guys that you kind of, you know, take inspiration from? Where to begin? I know. There's a lot. I'd say that everyone, like, everyone in the band, sort of, on different ends of the spectrum. Obviously, took a like, all, like, the 80s stuff. I'm more, like, you know, like, heavy, pop, heavy pop punk like, and stuff and all. Guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, Foo Fighters and, obviously, Queens of Stories. I like Blink and all. Right. Uh, story so far and things like that right okay I think I probably just I grew up on like I mean I watched Billy Elliot when I was a bairn and that's literally the area we're from <laughs> so I got my mum to just go get his best of T-Rex best of the jam best of boy yeah, yeah. and then I think that was that was me there was, I was aware then like that was oh, it I'll say I was probably late to the boy party yeah. I started listening to him like a couple of years ago yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. do you know what I only really listened to him since he died yeah, yeah, to tell you the yeah. truth, it's I a was bit late that. I know. A little bit, yeah. That happens quite. I got into Prince after he died as well. <sighs> that was the I same. I didn't realize how good yeah. Prince was at the guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Prince. Is I didn't even mint. realize. I went on like a proper, like deep dive of Prince after he yeah. died. Like, like I watched the movie and stuff as well, like Purple Rain, and then like I just got mega, mega into it. Like, but it happens awesome. as no one someone passes away, you end up just yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually do, yeah. hammering the music. Yeah, it's also like. I've also not as extreme, but like once you've went to see a band that you maybe didn't know as well, yeah, and then you listen to them loads afterwards, and you're like, oh, why didn't I know this much before? Know. Like, yeah, you know, it's the same sort of thing. It's a better experience, though, I think, it's seeing almost, someone live yeah. and not knowing any of the songs. It's oh. like you'll come away different. Yeah, it was some we went to see the Coral last year, and I've never really listened to the Coral, mm-hmm. but like I completely avoided listening to them, knowing I was going to see them, and it was amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Same as Peace. Yeah, you about Peace, Peace, like years ago? My first time I saw Peace in like at Leeds. Never heard of them, never listened to them, but I enjoyed it so much more. I think if I had listened to them, I don't think I'd have, I'd have like enjoyed it that much. Yeah. That's it was interesting. Like, so fresh on your ears. It was brilliant. Like. Great, doing that, I might try that next yeah, time yeah. we go see someone. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's probably hard like, to try and avoid it. Oh, the couple of weeks leading up to it, I was like, oh, like shall I just stick with it? to go on Spotify. Yeah, and yeah. I obviously knew a couple of choral tunes, but like. Like the most known ones, but oh, yeah. it was class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's easy to do it with the support act if you've never heard of the support That's act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. Because right, if you're going to a gig, you're going because That's actually you, a good you point. Like yeah, you're going I'll buy a ticket for this bar. I never heard of them. But exactly. Yeah. 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 Unless yeah. you're like a proper avid. I just like, had four more, I think. Bar. Sometimes like, bands or you revo- I, I avoid like art, certain arts. I'll see them coming up on BBC Music uh, yeah. or whatever, yeah, on Instagram. And I'll try and avoid them, but if they look interesting, I will sometimes just try and fork the money out and buy a ticket. Yeah. Especially if it's a local. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting way of doing it. I, I think we'll have to give it a go. It's a good yeah. show, like. I'll give that a go. Amazing. So, in terms of gigs and stuff you've done locally, what have you been up to gig-wise? At the moment, we've only got the one gig this month, and it's Sea Rocks at the oh, shoot, yeah, yeah, shooting yeah. gallery down on the quayside. Um, we've done loads of local gigs, like a bit what yourselves will do, putting gigs on yeah. yourself and going around. Um, we've done a good few gigs in the local area in County Durham. Um, just doing cheap gigs really and just yeah. trying to make a bit of money for so, our recording uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, just to help us out a little bit but then our main headline gig is Newcastle Z Rocks shooting gallery 29th of July yeah. looking forward to it oh I'm amazing stuff very much this, will, this might not be out before then oh I don't know but if that's a Saturday isn't it yeah, it's a Saturday, Saturday night yeah. it might be that out on the Friday beforehand yeah quite possibly well we'll fucking we'll find, find out won't we it will be it will be it'll be that Friday it comes out it comes out yeah, the 28th. Comes it's out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, the, the, gig gig is tomorrow. tomorrow. the gig is tomorrow. <laughs> if you really like so that, if there's any tickets yeah. left, go get them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Nice little stuff. plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's plug yourself. Yeah, that's no, the second. Absolutely. Exactly, exactly. absolutely. Good so, title. Yeah, well, Good title this, this I know. Yeah, yeah. I thought it that for well. Itself, this. <laughs> it was worth the money for the jingle. Oh, yeah. Well, it took all of eight seconds to record. Uh, 
So in terms of material, you mentioned that you've been recording a new EP. Have you got something out already? Um, no. I think the first the first single will come out this month. Yeah. Oh, amazing! Right. Okay. So the day before it'll be the gig. T- it'll be today. Today. The day before, today. It's out, it's out today. It's out. Make sure you go, go download it. Get in. Amazing. And it's going to be called "Where Can I Find Some Peace." Excellent. Are you going to be performing an acoustic version of that later on, by any chance? Um, I mean, we weren't planning on it, but no, uh, give, give I mean, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. No, we could, we could possibly. Um, but yeah, so that one was a bunch of songs we recorded. So it decided not to go on a certain, yeah. a certain EP or LP. Um, but it's very inspired, like by a little bit of the Brit pop psychedelia, yeah. kind of like Stone Roses, yeah, Phil's yeah. Gold kind of thing. Bongos and stuff in it. Oh, man. We've been waiting awesome. years to get bongos in a tune and it's, yeah. it's happening. <laughs> we need a bongo playing that. Oh, you were saying when I was there, you were looking yeah. for percussionists uh, so we need, do a bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. He plays a mean djembe. Oh, well, that's it. Gem. We need it. Like, yeah. What we do now? Amazing. Amazing <laughs> stuff. Well, we'll put that tune in the playlist that we yeah. mentioned before because we always put um, a song from the artist oh, geez, in, in, uh, in, in question. So we'll put that in as well. So what song did you plan on ah, yeah. performing? Should I? Um, so it's a tune called Bright from the Beer. Yeah. It's a little bit of a favourite. Yeah. That's not out though. That's not out. So Is that going to be on the album? Yeah. Mint. Amazing. Yeah, it's going to be there. So it's only a nice little short. Well, it's short for us because we yeah. usually do four minute singles for some reason. I know. We've got a bit of a bad habit. Think of radio, man. I know. Oh, man. So we're trying to <laughs> shot them down yeah, now. Yeah. But yeah, Bright from the Beer. It's a nice one. We're yeah, going to do like an acoustic nice. electric version. Amazing. And do you know what cover you guys are going to do for us? Yeah. Bucket Shop by the Libertines. Oh. Okay. Oh. So it was a, a really early one that I first listened to when I started getting into Libertines. Um, I think it was before they even had the full band, like members in the band. Um, and it wasn't on any album at the, to start with. I think it got men- mm-hmm. it got put on Anthems for the Doomed. All right, yeah, okay. I think it was the third album. Right. They've done like another version for it, but it just suits our sound. I think like excellent stuff. Well, we're going to hear a little snippet of their original at the end of the podcast, but the full version will be out tomorrow, and their cover will be out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Okay, it's time for the quiz and other games. The quiz. Lyndon has done the quiz again. So today we're going to have Lime Tree versus Vice Killer. So it's a fix. Uh, it's a fix. <laughs> it's a fix. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, okay, so our buzzer, mine and Scott's buzzer this week, is the bell as always. Vice Killer, what's your buzzer That's this it. week? It's DNA by Kendrick Lamar. All right. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just you paid really for that. The, <laughs> I paid for it. You're really short. So the first band who's straight. paid for that buzzer. <laughs> I, I just laughed. <laughs> All right. Right. Are we ready? So do, what, what do you want me to do? Tap you on the... Uh, I just give, give, a squeeze. Just give a nudge. Yes, right. please. Do do and tell them the, the, the premise of the, the game. Right. Sure. So the game we're going to play is called The Next Line Game, made famous by Nevermind the Buzzcocks. So basically, Lennon's going to say a lyric and we have to finish the lyric. The next line of the song. Buzz in if you know the answer. If you don't know the answer, be a chancer and buzz in anyway. Keith Lemon. (laughs) Ready? (laughs) On that note, are we all ready? Yes. Right, here we go. Number one. I think I'm going to be sad. I think it's today, yeah. Correct, it is. This is going to be a butcher in this, isn't it? It's going to get a hammer, dear. No, it's not. uh, It's a fix. Stay tripper. It is. Okay. Okay. Next one. From Soho down to Brighton. He must have played them all. Close enough, I'll give you it. I must have played them all. No. Tune. Is it good Who? Pinball. Going to see them next week. Where well, at Durham? Yeah. Is it Durham? Yeah. Wait, right. Chelsea Street. Chelsea Street. Might as well be. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I live in Chelsea Street, so. On the home patch. Oh, I, I'm just going to walk down. There's no, I'm not even going to drive. You can watch the Who. Oh, no. Walk no. There. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be mint. Anyway, next one. You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a BGs, woman's man, yeah. no time to talk. Correct, and it is the BGs. How yeah. well, that's well, an I easy knew, one, I just that. didn't know what the exact words were. Oh, that, I'm you can tell, by the way. Yeah. 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 Next one. Just just say the words. Like. <laughs> the words. Even if, just even if they're the wrong, wrong way. The words. Words. Go in and go for it. Whatever I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> that's fine. We'll, it's it's we'll, difficult on this podcast. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit it out. Okay. We'll work. Next one. War. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, 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 I'm not giving you that. I want the next line. What is it good for? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Um, I didn't know the words was war. 
It's so yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Sign your name across my heart. Hmm. Oh. Got no chance here. <laughs> Come on, clue. lads. They make these more friendly for us, like. It's a fix, you say. It is a fix, um, most definitely. <laughs> Do it again. Sign your name across my heart. It's got a rhyme on it. It's got has a rhyme. To, has to <laughs> rhyme or it's not a lyric. <laughs> doesn't count if it doesn't rhyme. You've not listened to much Bob Dylan, have you? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like. <laughs> Might have to go... Uh... Right, what we can do is if no one gets it, we'll go half points and I'll sing it. All right. To see if that prompts. <laughs> <laughs> go yeah, half points? Yeah, some will. yeah, go for it. Go for it. Sign your name across my heart. I want you to be my baby. <laughs> I want you to be my baby is <laughs> correct. And what's that? Um, I don't know who it's by. I do, do I? I, I just know, know the song. song. <laughs> I think it's a 90s artist. Oh, anyway. nice. Next one. Little Willy Willy won't go home. <laughs> what? Is it a nursery rhyme? <laughs> do you actually know this? <laughs> I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Little Willy Willy won't go home. Can't be a nursery rhyme. <laughs> Unless it's by the BBC, like. It's wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, satire. Oh. Very good. I like that. Oh. Don't try and tell me nothing. Nah. <laughs> no. While we've been talking, <laughs> Scott's just on the, on the ball. Like, <laughs> Scott's just constantly going through it. Little Willy Willy won't go. I know home. the song, just on the lyric. Shazam it. <laughs> no. Half, I think, like. Okay. Half points. See, this isn't good for me. It's quite high, but I'll try it then. Little Willy Willy won't go home. <sighs> I've got no like... idea. No? Scott knows it, but can't get the words. No lyrics, no. No, and it's You Can't Push Willy Where Willy Won't Go. It's wow. um, Little Willy by The Sweet. <laughs> I can't I can't say I've ever heard Have that. you not? Never, ever. Never oh, heard I've never heard that. I'll be fair, Audi probably have because it's on the car. It is on the car a lot. In the van. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> it only takes a minute, girl. To fall in love. To fall in love is correct. You don't know that. There's too many love songs there, like. We must be out of touch. Where's yes. all the metal? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. Like, Where's yeah. all the rock and roll? <laughs> uh, we need some more rock and roll, like. Okay. I can't go for that. You have to sing it. I know the I know the lyric before. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know is it the right song? Though? I'm not telling you. It, I'm, it is that, yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, is it No Can Do? No Can Do is correct. Paul and Oates. Yeah, yeah, like? I oh. can't go for that. No can do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where am I, where am I can oh, whoa, from? I don't know. <laughs> It sounds a bit like that because he goes, I can't go for that. No, no. Oh, no but that's what I'm getting from. Tune. Now they know how many holes. Do it, do it again. Now they know how many holes. It... Come on, that. It takes yeah, for a man to walk again. down. No. <laughs> what? No. How... Now they know how many holes. That's a Bob Dylan one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How many roads? Just not holes. <laughs> Just not holes. And now but they it definitely know. doesn't rhyme then. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't rhyme, there you go. Now they know how many holes. A man must go. No. Oh. <laughs> I had it before, but now I've got the Bob Dylan song shut my head. It. Was it similar to that? No. Oh, God. I don't think I could sing this because it's a weird rhythm. <sighs> I have zero. I can give you an artist if that would help. Go on then. 0.75 points. Yeah, yeah. This is for 0.75 points. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Beatles. Oh, oh, oh. Could you please repeat it? And now they know how many holes. It... <laughs> to fix where the rain gets in? No. No, no, no. It takes to. Some in New York City. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that, guys? I don't know. 
Now they know how many holes. This is a long... I thought you'd get this one. Some sort of sea creature in the next line. It's the Beatles. It's the Beatles. Oh, it's got to have something to do with a mushroom uh, or, uh, like a, <laughs> or a field. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All Beatles songs. Uh, yeah. 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 Aquatic creatures. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> drugs. <Fields>. Uh, <clears throat> Barbershops. No one going to get it? No. Nah. No, nah, no. Nah. No, can, can you sing, sing it though? Anyway, yeah. I don't know how. I don't know how I'd sing. Um, no, I can't really sing because sort of. Can you try? Monotone. Um, can you? Can you just try? Please. Um, go on, go on. Um, now they know how many holes. Can you carry on though? After that, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was very abrupt. Now they know how many holes. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna get it. Nah, it, it takes to fill the oh, Albert Hall. I was, it's I was a day just, in the life by the I Beatles. Know, Jesus uh, Christ. I had I had that, just not the yeah. Right, next one. We don't need no education. <laughs> to let them have it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you they, guys. they pressed it, it was just delayed. That was like a one second. No, you, you guys yeah. have it. you guys have the point. Let's repeat that again, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need no education. Hey, can you just leave those kids alone? No. Nope. Oh, it's too late, that. We don't need no thought control. We don't need Bastard. no thought control. Is Shit correct. on it. Come on, feel the noise. Oh, it's a fucking slidge. Girls rock your boys. Girls grab your boys. Grab your boys. And the last one. Thank God. <laughs> our house. Oh! In the middle of our street. In the middle <laughs> of our street. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> correct. <Hey! laughs> A point. Got a point. <laughs> What's the score then? Yeah. If you didn't drop the um, one up there, like. many, many, many what? Seven. Many, uh, <laughs> something, something to a bread stick. Wait, how many songs have you done? It was thirteen. So we twelve to one. Why nah, one, one, of, one of them was <laughs> chopped off. Ah, yeah. Okay, it's time for the lime tree time machine. The lime tree time machine. All right, lads. The concept is you've got a time machine. Where and when are you going? Most guests have had a musical answer and a non-musical answer, so. Bear that in mind. Seems what's quite current, Titanic. <laughs> yeah, you know, be on board for that that one <laughs> horrific night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, non-musical. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the quiz brought the, music down, brought the tone down, but there you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, if you had a musical answer, yeah, uh, it'd be David Bowie, one of the one of the tours that maybe Ziggy started. Yeah. Like tour. Got I would, uh, I would have loved to been around yeah, during like those times. Oh, I. I, I, I think it's probably the pinnacle of his career for me. That's my favourite boy era, like. Yeah. So I it's the classic, isn't it? It's, it's a like, classic, yeah, like. Of course. You, James? Um, musical. I can't remember exactly when it was, but when Stevie Ray Vaughan died, he was on tour with Clapton, and I feel like that would have been a really good fucking tour to go on. Oh, like. yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would have been cool. Non musical. Yeah, we can. Oh. Don't go as steep as the Titanic. No. Nah. Go back and sing England won the World Cup 66 Okay oh, Just won the World Cup Good answer Good answer You, you would like that Who else said that Someone else did didn't they it Was Joe Ramsey I actually don't know Do you it know was. we've done that many episodes we'll now right That they're all blurring into one This is 41 one. now isn't this it is, This is 41 This is 41 A lot of people want to go back and see the dinosaurs Yeah oh, That'd be uh, scary that <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> It's a skitty time like. <laughs> 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 You don't want to be roaming the boat when they're kicking no, about it. Definitely that Yeah Probably the same amount of risk as the Titanic, though, if you can't that get back off the boat. Yeah. You know I mean? Well, actually, the Titanic's more of a risk. You know how that one pans out. You know, you, you know <laughs> you're you dead, just, mate. You like. just get away with your time machines before No, it's yeah. a one-way no, trip. No, no, no you've got to live oh, through the one period. Way, one-way trip, well, I mate. thought yeah. you were able to just jump like, no, just no. off as, as it was I feel going. like we should have been told this before oh, we gave our answer. It's in the small print, the terms and conditions. So you're stuck washing, boy. Right, that's all right. That's, that's, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, he, would, he wouldn't make it to boy. He's on the Titanic. Uh, I'm, just, I'm st- stood watching England win the World Cup for eternity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of the worst It's not going to happen again. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just stay there. Exactly. <laughs> I do think we've changed the rules a little bit here, like because I didn't know that was the... Like, no, you well, there's you, no rules. No, there's no there. rules, yeah. We're yeah. already putting rules down because Jack Alden, when he was on, was throwing things at us trying to get us. He was, wasn't he? He was on. Jack, we're on to you. From the Avalons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We we'll go back and see if Jesus was actually real as well. <laughs> it's another shout. Yeah. It's Thing a good is, one. We, we reckon he was. But well, he's not mean the mean Lyndon thing. I was I don't say, I'm, I'm not included in this fucking We situation. reckon he was a real person. Ah, uh, just like a cult hero. Just or not something. necessarily. Cult hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a really early magician. Yeah. <laughs> That's just basically what Jesus wasn't was. Who he was. Just like Gaza no. for us, honey. <laughs> <laughs> just for the North East. Just another Gaza. <laughs> Do you have a music one? Yeah. You did, I? Yeah. 
Captain and Rave off. There you go. That's it on, sorry. There you go. Excellent answers. Okay, it's time for... Quick Fire Questions. Quick Fire Questions. All right, we've just got some artist, musician-related questions and then some funny ones at the end. So, in no particular order, what's the reason you got into music? Joy. Joy. That's a nice yeah, answer. Fun. Yeah. I enjoy it. Mm. Is there like a pinpoint moment where like, you know, you maybe heard music or like seen a band or anything like that where that was like the turning point? Uh, it was Billy Elliot, one of you, running, running through the uh, streets of Easy. That'd probably be Father, to be fair. Yeah. He used to have loads of blues on in the house and stuff. and Yeah. He played sax, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he played the sax. Oh, oh, yeah. does, he, does he still play? No, he's got a thing called Bell's Palsy now. Where oh, he, oh, right. Yeah, yes. he, had, he had to stop playing, unfortunately. Oh, right, right. But uh, I paid me dad play the sax and stuff. Oh, amazing. amazing. And being probably interested in how it sounded and how it was making that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's just a weird instrument, isn't it? The best instrument. Oh, it's brilliant. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unreal. Amazing. And you, Tom? Um, probably my mum. She brought the music out of me, I think. She was like a heavy reggae fan, like ska music as well. Right. So she had all like the Trojan Records um, collection and it was just like, it was just in my life straight away, like, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. amazing. Cool. Uh, your earliest memory of listening to music, you might have kind of touched on it a little bit there. Um, Busted. Mine as well. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, I remember getting this little miniature body square Stratocaster. Right. Red one. I remember sitting on in front of a Doing busted telly. jumps. I uh, busted jumps. <laughs> a, a present for everyone. The live, the live Dave Day. Oh, I thought I was the dog's bollocks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. And then Charlie went and broke my heart. Oh, oh damn you, Charlie. And now he was on the mask sino- uh, masked singer, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 They're back together now, weren't they? Yeah. Mm. yeah. For the money tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what They're going to end up like Kiss Armour. Like, yeah, I'm swear Kiss are on like the 15th farewell show, like yeah. tour of you. You've yeah. seen them a few times on the farewell show, haven't you? I've seen them three times on the farewell tour that's been happening <laughs> for the past four years. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, that's a way to do it, though. <laughs> yep. Then, the then, money in there. Then, oh, they're now what they're doing. But Definitely. but in all seriousness, it was like the best fucking gig I've ever been. Oh, it was man. so good. It was amazing. Um, Gene Simmons yeah. stick his tongue out. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I. There's the fucking bear shit in the woods. Yeah. Of course, that's he did. the only yeah. reason I want to go out. Say how long it's to see his tongue. Yeah, just to say how long it is in person. It is quite long, like looks huge on the telly. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, well, <laughs> well, it's huge on the telly. It must, <laughs> it can we be. cut that bit out of context? It looks huge on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks huge on the orange I'm website. Steph using this for the preview short. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Definitely. <laughs> Amazing. Uh okay, the best gig you've ever been to. You gonna have to go for I know thing. mine. Uh Foo Fighters. Stadium of Light. Oh, I was yeah. there. Unbelievable. And Amazing. then after that Foo Fighters again. Just great band live. Yeah. Was that the one with Kyle Chiefs and the Stripes? Yeah, yeah, the Stripes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah amazing, yeah. Because yeah, the Stripes, is, the, the, the guitarist like the Stripes is playing with Miles Kane yeah, now, isn't he? Yeah. He is, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he's playing with Miles, he was playing last year, we weren't saying. They were a great band, Stripes. Yeah. Yeah. They were mint, weren't they? It's a shame. The Couldn't believe how young, they were like 16 or something 16, when they played on that yeah. tour. Yeah. <laughs> Stadium tour at 16. They look like the preamps. They do. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, we all like the Stripes. I didn't yeah, know yeah. you knew. I will know them. Who they were. Good band. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a good gig, that. What was yours, Tom? I think mine would be... I went to see Cruanbin at Manchester. Oh, aye. Quite is that like how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think that's I've how you pronounce it. I've never known how you pronounce it. it. Uh, it's one of those you look. You look how's it spelled? That's K H R. Tommy J calls it Crumbin, doesn't he? Crumbin. Crumbin. Not face pronunciation, yeah. Crumbin. <laughs> but they were like fantastic. Like they were doing like just off the cuff covers, like instrumentals. Uh, unreal. Amazing. Okay, so if you could be on a lineup with two artists in history, dead or alive, they are the only options. Who would it be? So you've got Vice Killer and two other bands. Or artists. <coughs> Dead or Alive. They are the other versions. Uh, Foo Fighters and Hendrix. Oh, yes. yeah. What what a with, with Taylor Hawkins. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Wh- which one's headlining, though? Hendrix. Hendrix. So I can stand another B with not, Dave Gone, Taylor Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I want to be on first. Be on first. You want to get out of the way, do you? Yeah. And just yeah. stand side stage and watch just greatness yeah, happening for Yeah. I think mine would be probably Beatles that have to be the Beatles. Yeah. Um, and one of my favourite bands, like one of my favourite concerts, probably Talking Heads. Like okay. seeing yeah. some of the videos of their concerts back in the day. Did I you hate. fall in love with one of them? Uh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> nice reference there. Nice one. Nice one. Amazing. No, good answers. Good answers. All right. You dream venue to play? Probably the Royal Albert, like. Yeah. 
Albert Hall, yeah. Or maybe he's probably just for the history class. And how many yeah. holes it takes Yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Albert Hall, yeah. Probably Albert Hall. Yeah. And then like a festival glass yeah. maybe. Or Wembley, yeah, yeah. obviously. Wembley's like the pinnacle, isn't it? So Old Wembley. Yeah. Even New Wembley. Oh, Any Wembley. Wembley's Any Wembley, Wembley, isn't it? Let's be honest. Just Wembley, yeah. Uh, Even the arena's still Wembley. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not quite. <laughs> Your back garden. My back garden. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's got to be like, like that, like... We've all done things in back gardens. Gonna yeah. have to get done at some point, like back garden gig. <clears throat> oh, hi, class. All right. If you could hear a song again for the first time, what would it be? Bohemian Rhapsody. Good yeah, choice. That's a good answer. It's one of those you never. If you if you never knew it, like before listening, you're not you're not knowing what's coming to you. No. Nah. Yeah. I think it's one of those. It's got to, it's got to have that yeah. change in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Like a Beatles tune, the many Beatles oh, tunes just suddenly just change. That that it, Bohemian Rhapsody is daft, like, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Gonna have to have a think about it. I mean, strawberry fields yeah. forever as well. O- Octopus's garden. Octopus's <laughs> garden. Yeah, that's, that's a, garden. It's a great one. Like. Just so I could listen to the first line and be like, "What the? F- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome." Yeah. Uh, what? What was ours again? I wanted to hear "God Only Knows." Yeah, because I think that's Beach Boys. Yeah, fantastic yeah. song. Yeah, Beach Boys. Only. Although I could choose "Sweet Caroline" for the reason of I'm absolutely sick of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, well, so because mine was um, a song called Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. Because I've heard it a million times, but I love it. But like I've heard it a million times. Mm. But I like Tennessee Whiskey. I hate Sweet Caroline. Yeah, that. Yeah. So like, but I'd like to like it because everyone else likes yeah. it. You hear it all the, the time. The English have probably ruined that song. Yes. Yeah. 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 It doesn't help when you play it. Every Three week. times a week. Yeah, Nine. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> all right, and finally for music questions, what's your favourite album of all time? Axis Boulder's Love. Yeah. Who's that by? Hendrix. 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 It's tough this life. Beatles one? White album. Yeah. It's got to be the white one album. album. Yeah. One album. It's Great stuff. Favorite. All right, just some funny questions to end off with. If you could be friends with a fictional character, who would it be? Oh, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Oh, oh okay. never seen Rick and no. Morty. You just really want to be made to that it's guy. Probably got it for me. It's probably gonna be someone off the Mighty Boosh, like <laughs> right. It's gotta be. God, I haven't watched that in years. I went and rewatched. I think it got put on Netflix. So I, I was BBC iPlayer for the first time in years, and I just went through. You've never watched? I don't think I've ever watched it. No. Well, I've watched the odd one. It's it's, it's mental. A, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit of a yeah. It's mental. Peculiar taste, like yeah. I'll have to give it a blast. It's a bit strange. Yeah, I like strange stuff. <laughs> be good to be friends with Naboo like Naboo's the one like why oh, Naboo he's, he's just got someone about money he's that one uh, he's the short um, genie it's like Noel Field and his brother or something like that. yeah 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 oh yeah. I think I know what you mean now. <laughs> I'm, I might think is that the guy who is it got the guy in who's always on about crack or is that another show there's probably no, crack reference in it I think, I think you're thinking of um, oh what's it, oh, what's it called that, that video is possible Peep show yeah that's the one. Yeah. Oh, that crack is really Moorish yeah <laughs> sure, that's what I thought it was. Class. <laughs> All right. If you get a tattoo today, what would you get? I don't know. No, you've got quite a few like already. I know. I've, I sta- I've started getting random ones. To know. Have you? Has ah, I got that point? Uh, the last one. I, I got the Grim Reaper having a cup of tea. <laughs> oh my uh, god, Sam! Wearing a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Yeah, he's got his sunglasses on, he's having a cup of tea, Get in. living life. He's on his holiday, you see. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of ideas, I'm like. But you get a photo of that to put on the on screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I don't know what I get. I'm not no. sure, like. No. It'd probably be some sort of musically referenced. Get the band name? No. no I've, no. Got, the, I've got, no, <laughs> got the I as well. <laughs> you really don't like oh, the band yeah. name, yeah. do you? <laughs> <laughs> you should just have, like, Vice, and yeah. then, like, a load of names... Next but I could have been no, cross, just like cross <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Just get vice and then a line you can write a new one in and show exactly. it. Exactly. Just keep one, washing once you're it happy off. With it. That's a good idea. That, that's probably a better <laughs> idea. That's what we should have done, really. Yeah. But... Soak test. There you go. But you need to make your mind up the artist outside. So mm, yeah. he's gonna come in in a second, like so. <laughs> As, I'd make up your mind like by the end of the podcast. We should totally do that one weekend. No, we're not getting we're tattoos. Not. I think I'd be so No, um, um, I will. I think you should like. Have um, you have any who's got tattoos? No, no, no. But there you go. I'd like I'd it like needs to not happen. Needs to, it's, it? No, yeah. I'll violently attack you. Yeah. Well, I want to go to a place that has one of them uh, like pinball machines where you just get a random one. Yeah. All right. That will take you there, maybe. That would be that great for the like show, like horrific. No, nah, some places would be great. They have like loads of like cool like old school tattoos and you press like a pinball machine and you just pull one out and you have to get it. But the rule is if you like 
if you go for that, no matter what you get, you have to get it. I see. It's dangerous, though. Like. Yeah, it could be. Can you choose where you get it? Yeah, I think so. All right, okay. You've just got to get it. It's not like there's a second pinball and it tells <laughs> you. <here. laughs> that would be also a great <laughs> idea. It says, says bollocks. You know what I mean? Like, like, tattoo roulette. That's yeah. what you'll be saying oh, when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Class. All right, okay. Uh, your favorite movie? Uh, Interstellar. Good okay. film. Ooh. Probably Taxi Driver. Early Robert De Niro. Yeah. On his, on his game, like. I've not seen it. Oh, I no, haven't seen it in a long time. It's intense, but like. Just early Robert De Niro, yeah, yeah. like he's unreal. Aye. But yeah, sold out. <laughs> Meet the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love that as a kid. That's yeah, exactly. I loved it, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just money, money bills from uh, that. It is like, exactly, yeah. exactly. You can't yeah. blame him. All right, and to finish off with, what song would you like for your first dance at your wedding, should you choose to get married? Yours is going to be deadly serious, isn't it? <sighs> Pass. Nah, it's got to. Why well, are you under too much pressure? I'm under pressure. Pass. I say the wrong thing. I'm in Don't trouble. <laughs> we love the boogie to your ex. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. That's a great, that's a yeah. great, great song. Smash it out. There's like... no way on earth that 100 people in a room are going to let you and your wife have uh, your first dance true, like... if that song comes on. That's the whole point. You're going to be bombarded instantly. But it is a great First song. verse, use two, the rest of the yeah, song. Yeah, and then just there you go. Yeah, oh, good. We're trying to keep up with the count dance floor <laughs> <laughs> for a whole verse. <laughs> That's a tune, like. Yeah, Mega. amazing. Lads, thank you so much for coming on the thank podcast. You, this has been absolutely class. Uh, we're going to hear a snippet of the original tune in a second, and then the full version will be out tomorrow, and their cover will be out on Monday. But all that is left for me to say is thank you very much for watching and listening to the Lime Tree Sessions podcast with me, Jack Milcrease. This good. Scotch all. And Vice Keller. Woo! There you go. Thank you. The sun shines through a plain glass window in this bed we breathe. A thoughtless dream flows. the kids we thought we were winning just riding the